The medtech industry has taken a hit recently as investors become more risk adverse. Here to shed light on one company that has been able to transcend this turbulent period, Bohong from DDA. So let's first talk about investors who are risk adverse, as I mentioned, during the Series A and B financing rounds. Why do you think that is, particularly in the medtech field? So investors traditionally pursue maximi maximization of value creation and reduction of risks. I mean, in any healthcare investment, there are a number of risks. There are technology risk, clinical risk, but increasingly so in the past few years, regulatory risk and also financial pressure on the healthcare systems. So the reaction of investors has been to postpone their investment decisions after companies have achieved certain key milestones that offset these risks. And therefore, their investment decision has been moving past the Series A into Series B, even Series C or, or further rounds of financing. Now, Zeltas, of course, started out as a university spin-off. How have you been able to prove your worth to investors? It has been a journey, transforming from a university spin-off into one of the most promising uh, medtech startups in the world has taken a few years. And I think there are a few key uh, criteria for success here. I mean, firstly, we attracted the right long-term investors from the very beginning. And secondly, we have really formed and, and put a lot of effort in forming the best team, reinforcing our company with the best talents in the world we could find. And finally, you know, what is really important in the, in the field of, uh, of, uh, of medical innovation, we have been able to prove through successful clinical trials the positive outcome of our technology. And this really led to a successful round of financing at the end of last year, which enabled us to further continue our transformative journey. So let's talk about the science behind your products. So Xeltis is developing the first ever bioabsorbable heart valves and blood vessels. And traditionally, a diseased heart valve would be replaced by an animal tissue valve. The device we, we produce is implanted as a heart valve and immediately functions as a heart valve. It is structured as a porous matrix which enables the body's natural healing response to pervade it and form new healthy tissue. As this new valve is formed, the device which was implanted is bioabsorbed by the body, leaving only a newly formed, fully functional heart valve in the patient. You have been adorned with the title of being a startup worth watching by your colleagues in the industry. What do you think sets you apart? from the others? So I think there are really two parameters here. I mean, the first thing that really sets us apart is the potential of our company. I mean, the technology we are developing is not a one product technology. It's a platform technology that can be applied to multitude of cardiovascular treatment, promising to really change the way cardiovascular patients are treated today. Uh, the second thing that really sets us apart is the, the company itself. I mean, again, we have been really transforming the company, building a very, very strong team with the best uh, of the best in the industry. What do you think is the future in terms of investor appetite for med tech products and the risk aversion? Do you think we're going to sort of move beyond that period? So. I think some of the fundamental risks are here to stay. The financial pressure on healthcare systems is here to stay. So I think what we're going to see from the investor appetite uh, point of view is that they will not invest anymore in innovation for the sake of innovation. They will look for innovation that not only can improve patient outcome, but can also improve um, or reduce the burden on the healthcare uh, systems. Finally, what's next for your company? So Xeltis is developing its first commercial uh, product, a pulmonary valve, which is intended to treat children born with very severe heart malformations. However, the platform technology we are developing can be used for other applications. So we also have R&D uh, projects for adult uh, applications in the heart valve space. But more generally, the company is really on the way from continuing its transformative way from now a promising startup into a more structured, hopefully world-changing medical device company. And ultimately, our vision is to help thousands, hopefully millions of patients, live better lives.